What's up guys, welcome back to my channel once again and I hope you're all doing great and this episode is very special for me because I got an amazing, a truly masterpiece kind of fragrance to review. As we all know that Arabs have taken the perfumery to the perfection. In the history of perfumery, we can see a significant role of uh, perfumers and chemists from the Islamic Arab region and even today they never failed to surprise us uh, with their fragrances, with their creations. Uh, be it Abdul Samad Al Qureshi, Amwaj, Arabian Oud, Oman Luxury and many many more. There are many brands, many names which we can uh, mention here. I have reviewed two fragrances few months back from a local house called Lausanne. You can see the reviews on my channel if you want and those products were amazing. And now once again I got my hands on another local niche perfume house which is a very new house but the people behind the brand are exceptional. They are very experienced and they really know their stuff very well. And the brand I'm talking about here is Jabber and Kindi. And I hope you guys have already heard about this brand, especially on the Facebook. They are running their marketing campaign very well. And I'm seeing their commercials in my every single visit on Facebook. So in this episode, I'm going to review their very first fragrance and one of their best sellers, Bracelets of Kisra. So let's start a review. And as always, I will show you the presentation. So you will get this perfume uh, in, wrapped in this beautiful black matte paper with this beautiful sticker with the name of the brand Jabra and Kindi and the name of the, the fragrance bracelets of Kisra and once you will open this you will get this beautiful black box there is a sleeve on the box once you remove the sleeve you will find this beautiful hard box and then you will find this beautiful metallic plate here with the initials of the brand and name of the fragrance so here in this case it's j and k bracelets of kisra and then here jabber and kindi so the brand name jabber and kindi got a story behind it not story like it's a true events uh, there are some facts behind this brand name who is jabber and kindi so if you visit to their website you will know the inspirations uh, for their fragrances uh, came from old Islamic historical era. So here on their website you will uh, get some detail about their brand name Jabar al Kindi. So Jabar ibn al Hayyan and Abu Yusuf al Kindi, those were two uh, Islamic scientists who developed the process of distillation. With the new technology, they were able to extract essential fragrance oil from newer and more unique sources. So as I have told you in the beginning that there is a very pivotal and significant uh, role of uh, Islamic uh, chemists and perfumers in the history of perfumery. So their slogan is that fathers of modern perfumery. Because these two scientists have discovered or you can say invent the modern day's distillation process. So this was about the brand Jabra and Kindi and now bracelets of Kisra. So there is an inspiration of true events from the Islamic history behind uh, the composition of this fragrance, which you can find on their website. And once you will open the box, you will find this card inside with the logo printed on one side. And on the back of the card, you will find a little story behind the inspiration of this perfume. It's like, it's a story about those real events happened in the history of Islamic era. So you can read it or you can also uh, read the story on their uh, website. So you'll get your beautiful bottle resting here on a piece of uh, silk cloth. And the bottle looks like this. It's very beautiful, uh, very heavy bottle. The cap is made of metal and it's very, very heavy. And here on the front of the bottle, once again, you will find a very similar metallic plate as you will find on the box. Actually, uh, the both of these plates are same. So you will find this beautiful metallic plate on the front of the bottle with the name of the perfume, a heavy metal cap and the taper uh, styled bottle. So this was about the presentation. And now I will give you the nose breakdown as always. And after that, I will try to explain you how this beautiful fragrance smells so for the nose breakdown you can also check the printed card which comes with the perfume so here in the top notes you will get saffron lavender and bergamot 
in the middle north there is tobacco leather and cedar wood and then in the base north you will get wood patchouli and musk so this was about the north breakdown and now i will try to explain you how this perfume actually smells so as soon as you will spray this perfume you will get an amazing and beautiful fantastic magical opening you will get sweet saffron blended with amazing bergamot with leather in the mid little bit behind and then a beautiful accord of oud on the top and the oud used here is very refined they have used only sweet aspects of the oud and you will not get any type of uh, fecalish or barnyardish kind of facets here the oud here smells very luxurious refined and royal and then you will get a lavender running through the notes here and there with a beautiful woody and musky base. From the notes breakdown, it may look like a pure masculine fragrance with tobacco, leather and wood, but trust me, it's not. Yes, it may lean more towards the masculine side, but this perfume is a unisex scent. And the notes of patchouli and tobacco are used in a very artistic way. You can feel them, but still you cannot pick them. And I can also uh, get some incense and petroleum wipes uh, along with some smoky nuances. The quality and blending of this perfume is ultra niche, ultra refined and the transitions are amazing here. In each wearing it's going to give you different kind of transitions and will never let you bore. It will keep changing and changing and with every wearing you will get a different kind of experience. Uh, in the second phase which comes uh, like around after two hours uh, it becomes more fresh, lavender becomes more prominent and leather becomes a little bit soft. And then in after like around three hours, uh, it becomes more musky, more woody, patchouli starts to shine. And then in next one hour, it will change again. So as I've told you, in each wearing, you will get a different uh, kind of uh, feel different kind of transitions so quality blending is ultra niche the feel of this fragrance is really so rich it will make you feel very special it will make you feel royal it will give you that luxurious kind of feel and a truly masterpiece kind of composition and scent uh, i can say this is another uh, one of the best finding of 2022 for me I really love this perfume so this was about bracelets of Kisra from the house of Jabbar and Kindi. And now we will talk about the performance. Performance wise, this perfume is outclass, really good. I have tried this perfume and it gave me 12 plus hours of longevity. And the projection is very strong for the first two to two and a half hours. And even after that, it keeps on uh, project, but in a lighter way, but the people around you will be able to smell it and the sillage is also very good whenever you are going to pass uh, so, uh, someone they are going to smell it so performance wise no issue here very long lasting and amazing performance and now let's talk about gender so as i told you earlier that this is a unisex type of scent leading a little bit more towards masculine side but ladies and gents they can rock it easily without any issue for the age group i can say that uh, this is for like little mature people if you are 28 to 30 years old uh, it's going to suit you very well if you're in your professional life in your professional lifestyle this is uh, going to rock and now let's talk about the season so you can use this perfume all year around though there is tobacco there is leather there is oud but still you can use it easily in any season definitely as i've told you in many videos that oriental fragrances works very well in uh, cold weather uh, but still in summer you can use it easily without any issue and now let's talk about the occasion so for the occasion i can only say that wear this perfume whenever you want to feel special whenever you want to impress someone or even for the self enjoyment this perfume is really special so whenever you want to feel special uh, use it whenever you want to feel uh, like a rich or a uh, use it and now let's come to the price so this perfume comes in 50 ml with extract the perfume concentration with this beautiful presentation and the price is around i think 400 uae dirhams for 50 ml yes you can say it's a little bit expensive but trust me guys uh, it worth each and every penny 
uh, try it out and I'm sure you're going to love it. So when I have ordered this perfume, uh, these people were kind enough uh, to send me uh, two testers of the two other fragrances which we are going to talk in some another video. So this is King Throne and Palace uh, de Aziz, these two uh, testers and they have sent me this beautiful oil. Uh, there is no name uh, for the oil. This is like 3 ml oil and they said this is only available in, uh, in their factory and I think this oil is not for sale but I will uh, make it sure about this and even this oil is amazing and if you guys want me to review this oil let me know in the comments and I will do it. So I got this oil and these two samples uh, as a compliment and I have paid around 400 dirhams and the delivery inside UAE is free. Uh, it's very easy to get this perfume inside UAE and I think these people they are uh, doing the international delivery as I have mentioned on their website international delivery available and for the charges of delivery you guys can check it out by yourself on their website I'm going to put the link of the website in the description box to know how much is going to charge for your country but if you can afford if you uh, like really uh, artistic uh, kind of fragrances if you want to appreciate something uh, really good uh, give it a try and i hope you're going to like it so this was about bracelets of kisra from the house of Jabal in kindi i hope you liked the review uh, so until the next video take care and bye